don't really tell me what to do. They provide me with a lot of creative freedom. They trust me. They trust my instincts. They understand that I get the internet, and that's sort of something that they're not used to. And they offer me advice when I'm editing, but they don't tell me what to do. They trust my instincts. We have a young video department, and I think they, 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 under, they know that we understand what works on the internet. What did you think of that about what Bob Woodward said about uh, journalists shouldn't be giving advice? I think that that's a different world. Now people want uh, biased journalism, I feel. They want to hear the journalism either um, tell them what they want to hear or tell them what their opinion is, what they think about it. Um, we have such a uh, polarized news now. It's a much different world. What do you think of it? I think I think it's different. I think it's impossible to not be biased. So I don't think that I don't think that there's a need to try to not be biased because it's impossible to be biased. Even if you're interviewing someone, you decide what you think is important, what you think people will like. You're still you still have biases and so I don't see the problem with bias reporting, reporting from a certain angle. People feel, people who read my stuff, watch my videos, they feel as though their voice is not in the media. And so I'm providing a voice for them, and I think that's great. They feel as though they're not represented in the media, and they, they email me and tell me, you're the only person in the media that I trust, and I think that's important. They feel that there's not a voice for them in the media, and I'm providing it for them. Recently, you were invited to appear on the Alona show. <clears throat> yes. Alona has been here, and we've had the same kind of a conversation. Why did you go on the show? Uh, she does an online show, and uh, it does well on the Internet, and I figured it was a good opportunity. She's not that much older than you are. Yes. She has her daily one-hour show. Yes. But um, like me, she understands what works on the internet, what doesn't. And it's two young people. It's a perfect opportunity to talk about what I believe in and um, for it to go on YouTube and spread. She's on Russia Today, or RT as they call it. Let's look at a little bit of uh, your, your visit there. Next November, should they find new candidates? Are there enough new candidates, or should they sit at home? Well, we had a poll done at Reason that showed that 80% of Americans say that they'd be open to uh, voting for a candidate from a third party. So, I mean, I don't know really if there is a candidate out there that's viable that's a third party candidate, but I would love to see there be more options rather than just the Republicans and the Democrats, because people are upset. They're unhappy with both of them. Who's watching that kind of a show and your kind of video? Do you have any sense of what the, the age group is? Young people. I mean, probably 18 to 30. Those are the people who are watching it. A lot of our videos, they, when videos go viral, they start on websites like reddit.com. And that's filled with lots of young people. So You said Reddit? Reddit, R E D D I T dot com. It's um, just a bunch of forms. And yeah, it starts there and it goes viral. Do you watch the mainstream, so called mainstream media? A little bit. I mean, I, what I do in the morning is I don't really go to that many websites. I go to my Twitter, I go to Facebook, and I look at what they posted. And so I look at what my friends liked and I click on it and I um, sometimes it's to the mainstream media so I click on that and I look at it but I don't go out of my way to visit the New York Times or the Washington Post. It's usually I'm, I'm going through my Twitter feed and my Facebook feed. The, this uh, media world has changed so dramatically in the last 40 years. Um, have you, when you were going to school at Pepperdine, did you ever talk about that? Did you ever study the way the media used to be versus what it is now? Um, no, I didn't take very many media classes. Most of what I took was political science, so not too much. I feel like it's a given. I mean, everyone, that's, that's what we've grown up with. It's hard to imagine anything different. You lost your father in, I think, 2002. Uh, who was he, and what impact did he have on your life? Um, my father was uh, Greg Fields. He was a writer, 
a comedian. He did, um, he wrote a lot of shows, Full House and Living Color, Back to School. Um, he was probably the most real person I've ever known. He grew up in Kentucky. He was a, a man of, of faith, of, of great values, and when he went to Los Angeles and became this big-time writer, he never changed. I mean, he never drove a luxury car. He was still the same guy from Kentucky. If he, do he donated money, when he donated, he did so anonymously. He taught us that money meant nothing, and he told us that we should be who we are and stay true to ourselves, and he led by example. He showed us that it's possible, even in a world like Hollywood, that you can still remain yourself, and I think that that's had a tremendous impact on me. Um, 